Here's your ball game. Nick Marshall stands in, steps up, going to throw down field, just a home run ball, and uh, it is tipped off. And Lewis caught it on the deflection. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Touchdown over. Touchdown over. A miracle to turn to hair. Talking college sports in the Deep South, where college football is king. We want to think that the SEC, well, the SEC is one of the better conferences in college football. And in East Alabama, where Auburn University rests, they call that place the loveliest village on the plains. And the battle cry is War Eagle. Fearless and true gang, Gus haters, all Auburn fans. I want you guys to get real active in the comment section. Get a lot of information from that comment section. Like the video. Also, subscribe to Vernon Speaks Auburn. We're talking an early look at the Deep South's oldest rivalry today as Auburn will be taking on Georgia later on in the season. Usually, this is a high-consequence game, obviously, because it is a hated rivalry of both squads, University of Georgia and Auburn pretty much love to hate one another. The, the rivalries are so interconnected. A lot of uh, students at Auburn actually are from Georgia. As a matter of fact, Auburn has a lot of players uh, from Georgia. If you look at this rivalry, 59, 56, and 8, led by Georgia, you would have thought, considering the latest trend, that the gap would be that the you know the gap wouldn't be as close. Auburn has only beaten Georgia three times in the last 10 years. All at home and all have led to high consequence for the Auburn Tigers. All of those games have led to at least an SEC championship appearance, one national champion, well, actually two national championship appearances and one national championship. So it's very important for Auburn uh, to win this particular football game, especially as they have at home. Georgia actually returned starting quarterback. Jake Fromm, who will be the first time that Georgia has had a three-year starter in a very long time coming into this year. Now, here's one of the more important trends, at least for the Georgia fan base, that I think, you know, has been kind of a heartburn since Kirby Smart arrived. Now, although Kirby Smart has done an incredible job with revitalizing uh, the expectation at the University of Georgia, there are some things that the, you know, Georgia fan base probably feels that Kirby Smart and his squad needs to change moving forward. For one, they got to stop losing Alabama. That's probably one of the main things that just eats the Georgia fan base alive. I I can't remember the last time they beat Alabama, and they just can't seem to do it. I'm I'm sure University of Georgia is just sick of losing to Alabama. And two, to, to help Georgia get over the hump. I think this would have been very important, especially last season, if Georgia would have been able to defeat LSU. They would have had a lot better argument going into the 2018 postseason for a potential playoff berth. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Ever since Kirby Smart has been coach at Georgia, Georgia has not fared well at all against SEC West teams on the road. You take a look back at 2016 facing Mississippi, uh, losing that game 45 to 14. And really what what hurt them was two turnovers. They got outgained uh, on the ground and they just couldn't stop uh, Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly had a very, very good game against um uh, Georgia as Ole Miss just trounced Georgia 45 to 14. Then you look over to 2017 uh, coming into Jordan Hare Stadium uh, losing that game 40 to 17. They were actually ranked number one at the time and one of the things that stands out you know you got Auburn with 237 rushing yards combined. One turnover costly turnover. As a matter of fact when um Uh, Hardeman fumbled that punt. The game was still pretty well in hand, but that gave Auburn great field position. And then Auburn scored, and it was pretty much an onslaught from there. Uh, Auburn outgained Georgia in that particular game, 488 to 230. And that's just not something that's going to get you a win, not in the SEC West and not on the road. And also to note, 
Nick Chubb only had 27 yards running in that particular football game as well. Then you fast forward to 2018, you know, Georgia on the road against LSU. We all know Death Valley is a very tough place to play. The game was actually in hand going into the fourth quarter, but when you look at the totality of this particular game, you know, Georgia with four turnovers. They got outgained 475 to 322, and they lost the time of possession. Uh, Jake Fromm proved to be a very, very huge liability for the uh, for uh, Georgia with the turnovers in this particular game. Of course, we go into the 2019 season, Georgia with the second uh, highest recruiting class in all of college football. Uh, did lose a few players, but will be super talented this year. Also, you combine that with Auburn having a lot more solidarity on both sides of the football field, a wealth of experience. This is just part one of probably of a series that we're going to do, kind of like what we've been doing with Oregon of the Auburn versus Georgia rivalry, one of the best rivalries in all of college football, one of the seventh most played games in college football history. Once again, it's Case Stu the Goat for Vernon Speak Sports. We're talking Auburn football like nobody's business. Get into the comment section. I don't care if you're a Gus hater, if you're an Auburn enthusiast, whatever you may be, voice your opinion in the comment section. We also welcome SEC and all other college football fans to join the Fearless and True Gang in this comment section. Once again, Case Stu the Goat, please subscribe to my channel, War Eagle.